Welcome to the 6 Atom CLI tutorial. Today we're going to look at the import bulk task. For this we're already assuming that you've got your Vagrant box or development environment set up. Here we've logged into our Vagrant environment and we've already opened our browser to the default address 10.10.10.10. As usual, you can follow along with us in the documentation included in the Atom Administrator's Manual. It's found in the Command Line Tools section. We'll be looking at the Bulk Import of XML Files documentation. To prepare for this tutorial, I've also created some directories in my local instance. You can create these directories wherever you installed your Vagrant box. If I change directories into that location by going cd slash Vagrant, I can see them. Here they are in my local file browser. I've created one called import bulk that includes a number of files that I've loaded into it. Let's take a look at the inside of that directory. You can see that there are 10 XML files located in here. We can see it in our file explorer as well. For this first attempt, I've used large EAD XML files that have multi-level descriptions and external images to show that the import bulk command can scale in a way that doing imports through the user interface won't. Currently, my installation is empty. We'll be populating it by doing the import bulk command. Let's change to the correct directory so we can run this command. If you enter php symphony help import colon bulk, you'll be able to see the internal documentation included with the task. This includes the usage of the task at the top, which is the syntax and all the options listed in brackets, the arguments that are required, in this case a folder and a path to the folder, the options available, and a brief description of the task. We'll start by doing a basic import and go through some of the options available afterwards. To do a basic import, we enter php symphony import colon bulk, and then the argument, the path to our import folder. If we run the command, it will start. The amount of time that this takes will depend on the size of the files and the speed of your system. In this case, it might take a while. I've included 10 large files, multi-level descriptions included, with external images, which must be fetched. The dots printed will give you a sense of how fast the import is moving. At this point, we've imported our files. One thing to note here is the error outputs. Atom will attempt to validate your EAD XML against an internally stored DTD. However, the import is permissive. So long as the errors won't crash the import, it will still allow the import to succeed. At this point, we cannot still see the imports because we haven't indexed our site. Let's run the index command, PHP Symphony search colon populate. Adam will now begin indexing everything in the database. This too can take a while depending on how large the database contents are. Now the indexing of the site is completed. If we refresh in our browser, we should be able to see all of our descriptions. And there they are. They even include external images. 
One thing to note is that we sh see that the user interface is showing eight results. This is because some of the descriptions were marked as draft and is imported as such. If we log in as an administrator, we should be able to see them all. Now we're seeing 10 results. Let's take a look at one of these results to make sure that all levels have come in and everything seems to be displaying properly. You can see that all levels have appeared properly. The description appears to be full and there is a reference image. This has been pulled in from the external URL, which is made available to the user in the digital object metadata area. That's our look at the first basic use of this task. To show the next step, I've run the purge command, PHP Symphony Tools Purge. We're not going to go over that very much in this, but it's useful for a development environment to purge all data in your database. If you're interested, you'll find it listed in the command line tools section of the administrator's man uh, manual. Once again, I've started with an empty Atom instance. I've also reduced the number of EAD XML files in my import bulk folder so that future attempts to show this task will be simpler. Now we're going to look at what happens when we want to import a SCOS XML file rather than an EAD XML file. This is useful for importing terms to a specific taxonomy. I've placed Canada SCOS XML file here. It's a hierarchical taxonomy of terms for my places taxonomy in Atom. We'll use the taxonomy option to indicate that we want to import to a specific taxonomy. For this, we'll need to know the internal ID of the taxonomy. In the documentation, we've included some sample IDs. Since we're importing to places, we'll need to know that the ID is 42, subjects is 35. Let's enter the base command, php symphony import bulk, and then we need to give it the path to our SCOS file. However, just like this, Adam won't know what to do with the file. So we'll go back and we'll add dash dash taxonomy, and then we'll point it to the correct taxonomy by giving this a parameter. In this case, we're telling it taxonomy equals quotes 42, which is the places taxonomy. And we've imported our places now. Remember, we haven't used any command to re-index as we go, so we'll have to run the search populate command again. This will populate the search index, so these items will be discoverable in the user interface. Now we can go to our places taxonomy and see the results of our import. We have 19 terms that have imported. They're organized hierarchically under the parent term of Canada. Let's look at one of the lower level terms. You can see that Ontario is a child term of Canada and has two children. If we click on one of those children, we can see that other parts of the SCOS XML, such as scope notes and whatnot, have imported as well. Next, we'll look at some of the other options that are available on the bulk import task. This time, we'll index as we go using the dash dash index option. This is useful for importing into a large database so we don't have to re-index the entire database. We'll also use the completed directories option. 
This allows us to move XML files into a directory as they complete. This can be useful when troubleshooting a large import so that as XML files are imported, they are moved to the correct directory. First, we'll enter the base command, php symphony import colon bulk, and we'll port it to our import directory that we've set up. Now we'll go back and add the options, which must appear before the final argument, which is the path to the folder. We'll enter two options this time. Dash dash index will enable indexing as the command progresses. Then we'll add dash dash completed dash dir. This requires its own argument. So we'll put completed dir equals, and then in quotes, we'll give it a path to the completed directory that we want to use. I've already created one called completed imports. Which we can see here. Now we're ready to run our command. As these import, Adam should move our XML files from the import directory into the completed imports directory. Notice that this time, the prompt tells us that indexing is enabled. This means we won't have to run the search populate command afterwards. And there are our descriptions. If we take a look in here, we'll see that our import bulk directory, where our XML files originally were, is now empty. They have been moved to the completed imports directory. As you can see from the help command printed above, there are several other options available for use with the import bulk task. You'll find more information about these in the Atom documentation. Be sure to check out our future tutorials for looking at some of the other command line tasks that are available.